welcome to the Jody Murphy instructional series. Today you're watching the Puppy Cut. This is Jack, and Jack's a nine month old Shih Tzu Poodle mix. Um, and the first thing I want to talk to you about is the Puppy Cut itself as well as puppy grooming. Uh, the Puppy Cut is it's a term that I do not use with my clients. Um, it's one of my pet peeves, but it's a term that groomers use and clients use all the time. And it's a term that's very vague, a puppy cut. What does puppy cut mean? And you have to have all the patience in the world when you're dealing with puppies. And I could tell you um, the best thing to do is not book your puppies on busy days. Book your puppies on very slow days, whether it's the beginning of the week. Don't book them on a Saturday when you guys are all busy in the shop and you have a lot of distractions going on because the puppies won't do well. Um, and you really, really have to give them a lot of attention and, um, and have a lot of patience with them. And I find that with puppies, using thinning shears works very well because, first of all, they're just moving targets half of the time. And so when you're using shears, it's very easy to hurt them, number one, or to really put a hole in their coat because they're moving so much. So it's a lot safer to use thinning shears, especially around their head and their face. And I'll show you how I do that with Jack later on when we get to his head. Okay, on an angle up is the vein will run toward the back of the nail. So you always want to take that point off on an angle up. And now because Jack is getting to that point where he's changing coat, I am going to take him shorter than I have been. Because he was a little bit, he had some knots in, in him this morning, especially his ears and his hips. So I don't want to have to go through a D-mat with a puppy. There's nothing worse than having to deem out a puppy. And of course, if you have to, you have to, but you know, let's try to avoid it. Right to where that knee bends, right there, that's where you want your shortest point, your angulation. Okay, so I've already set my foot in, so now I'll continue this line. out, out to my hawk, and now I'm going to take my hawk and I'm going to round it into my foot. Okay. I like nice full legs. I think they look nice and cute. It puts style on the dogs. I like the nice columns. Um, you can see how Jack toes out here. His little toes are pointing this way. He's kind of like a easty westy we call it when they toe out. So you still want to scissor the legs straight down and that'll help camouflage that. You want to get them used to this when they're little like this so they don't mind it. They actually don't mind this as much as they mind the clipper under their eyes. And I like the thinning shears anyway, it just looks better. Stay, stay. And so I just really follow, follow the shape that I had and just take off the little wispies. See, they get real thin at the ends. And I just like to thicken them up a little bit. So I'll just take that, the edge off. Um, this is just, like I said, it's my interpretation. It's what I like to see my puppy trims look like. You can go any length that you'd like. Um, so here's Jack. <laughs> I hope that helped you a lot with this session. Thank you so much.